The tutorial you are watching is part of Python Fundamentals, probably the best Python beginner course on the internet. Hello and welcome to the authentication program. We are of course in the applications part of the course. And a really common real world use case is basically getting access to a database or a system where we need to enter the correct username and password. So we're going to write a program that basically uh, has a valid username, a valid password, and it checks when it asks you for the username, you type it in. If it's correct, it asks you for the password, you type it in, and then you get access granted. We're going to go as far as to have two different username password combinations. After that, we're going to have a sober look at our program and have a bit of a talk on how we can improve it in such a way that we can have you know, an unlimited list of users, passwords, and no major bugs. Okay, let's get started. So first thing we said we're going to do is we're going to have a username and a password. So username, I don't know. I think we had Bobo earlier on. Bobo. Bobo's funny. All right, so Bobo, and Bobo is not particularly sophisticated, so his password is 123, ABC123. And the first thing we want to do is get a username from the user. So this already gets us into the territory of naming your variables. So I guess I can go call it in in username or in name in username it's it's kind of long though in name in name equals to input please your username there we go so at this point, we've already saved um, the username, so we can write an if statement and say, oh, if this is correct, if in name double equals to username, which is already saved, then we're going to ask for the password. Then pass, aha, in password equals to input. Laziness, please enter your password. Okay. And finally, we can say, hey, if password double equals to, no, 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 no. We're going to say if in password double equals to password, then we're going to print access granted. So this is going to be in password because that's the one we just saved in password. Okay, so let's check this thing out and see, you know, if I type in Bobo and ABC123. Great. So a couple of improvements that are pretty obvious. If I type in my name, exit. So it doesn't even tell you that it's the username is not correct. So First of all, the else to this if statement, it has to be where? Well, in line with the if. So here, I guess we could put a comment. Else tell user, say user name is invalid. That'll do. So else print. That is not a valid username. Okay. And likewise, the in password is saved here, so the else has to be in line with that. So else, I guess we can just say so we can print. Okay, let's try this. So first wrong username. Not a valid username. Okay, great. Next we're gonna go Bobo, but password we're just gonna power. That's not a valid password. Cool. Okay, so here we are. Um, 
this is a working minimum viable product, so to speak. So the very first thing that you're going to think, hey, if it's a database, it has multiple users and all of these users have their own passwords. So I guess we can add a second user and see what that looks like. Um, we're going to need a username too, I guess, and a password too. This could be me joining the party and my password could be hmm, password. -y. There you go. Not a great password. So let's have a think about it. Um, how do we, first of all, let the user get to the next stage? That should be pretty easy. Um, right here where we're checking for valid usernames, we could say or in name double equals to user name two. So that should let either Sunyan or Bobo in. And let's 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 give that a try. So and here's the problem of this program right now, because I can enter Bobo's password, ABC123 access granted. So I guess we need um, two different combinations. It has to be if uh, username is Bobo and password is password. It has to have both. So in here you would have to say if um, in name equals to user name and in password. So it has to be the combination. And here we're going to cover for the second possibility and just say elif oh, la 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 user name name so we can say two two and i think that that handles it let's find out invalid syntax double equals thankfully python's having none of that mistake. In some programming languages that error passes and then your program doesn't work even though it compiles. So let's have a try with um, Sunyan and Passwordy. Sunyan. So we're going to try ABC123 just to make sure that that doesn't work. Because if it does, we have serious problems. That is not a valid password. Good. And Passwordy access granted. So there you have it. Um, as you can see projecting forward, this would get pretty messy. You, you would have a long list of usernames and passwords and this would have a long list of um, elifs and elifs and elifs. But it can scale up just not very neatly. Um, it also has the other problem whereby we enter the wrong username and the program exits. So this program should be accepting a username and password all the way until it receives the correct one. So that's those are the two problems we're going to tackle in the next tutorial. See you then. Hi there, my name is Sanyan. I am the creator of this channel here. Um, if you're loving these videos, be sure to subscribe. That button's going to be right there and do the like thing, you know, that's nice too. Um, the playlist for this Python Fundamentals course is right here for you to access it. And on my other side should be a playlist of all my Python videos. So enjoy that and see you guys later.